The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal match was 30, 31, they said, actually. There wasn't 30. They ended up adding another person in there. Or is yes. that not true? I didn't really go ahead and crunch the numbers. Yep, that's what Hogan said on Roar, at least. Uh, we got to trust Hogan. I mean, they were in the Silver Dome, after all. <laughs> uh... I thought it was kind of funny that they decided to give Sheamus and Big Show entrances and nobody else because that's really like they show you right then that they don't care about anybody else. And it would have made sense with Big Show, but I don't know. Did Sheamus really deserve an entrance? Well, technically, in WWE's eyes, he's the second biggest or the biggest guy in there. So, I mean, uh, that, I that annoyed me a little bit. Not that I was, you know, hoping for somebody like a Del Rio or an Art Truth or something to get an entrance, but Man. I still kind of was like hoping that they would just have everybody in the ring and that'd be no, it. No, I would have, I would have dealt, I could have dealt with the Del Rio entrance if he brought out like the most badass car he's ever done with an entrance. Bring that back. If he would have brought that back, then I could have dealt with it. I would have been okay if he was riding a lawnmower. <laughs> you know, if Rob Van Dam would have appeared at WrestleMania, I then that would have just made it that. worse. Nah. Fuck RVD. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Oh yeah, fuck you. So obviously we're not going to go through each elimination and all that. You guys can go back and watch the match. You don't need those results. But Cesaro ends up winning, and he was one of the people that wasn't actually announced for the match, so that was a nice little surprise. And they did a little homage to uh, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant by having him pick up Big Show and basically body slam him over the top rope, which I thought was really cool. Very fun match. Good finish. Nice to see Cesaro get a good spot there. And uh, I, oddly enough, don't want to see this next year. I think that was perfectly fine to sum up WrestleMania 30. And if they do it one more time, it's just going to sour everything. I do think you need some kind of a multi-man match at WrestleMania just to get a lot of these guys on the card. But it's not a 30-man battle royal. It's too close to Royal Rumble. I don't know if you need to do some kind of a scramble or you need to do some kind of a uh, giant tag match or what, but I don't want to see any more Battle Royals. Maybe WrestleMania 40, you could do another one for an Andre the Giant thing or something like that, but not WrestleMania 31. Where you go? It was... Royal Rumble was such a fuck-up where I actually don't mind them doing this. It actually redeemed it to some degree. And it was nice seeing Cesaro get the win. And, man, every time I see him do something like that, it leaves me in shock. That guy must be the strongest uh, person in WWE right now. Like, I don't think Cena can touch him. Um, It's a really impressive feat of strength by Cesaro. And that's all this match was really about. And I think you could have done that with just a singles match between Big Show and Cesaro. But... Hey, it's cool. He got a nice trophy that lasted a night. No, Payton. Uh, I almost turned this pay-per-view off after this match, actually. I was so upset and, and so destroyed. I, I can't believe that they decided to end the streak. Fandango went into this 1-0. <laughs> and now he's 1-1. and uh, Miz too, right? Was it Miz well, undefeated? Technic- technically, technically, Miz lost a pre-show match before yeah. this, and I do consider that a part of WrestleMania. Ah, uh, yeah, screw that then. It's all about Miz Fandango. Is, Miz is not Fandango. Um, and if if the tweets are to be believed, apparently Summer Rae is leaving Fandango too. Oh yeah, I saw that. I was Poor like, guy, yeah. it's just not been his week. Uh, Fandango is falling on hard times. Um, but isn't isn't Layla gonna be his manager? Who? Layla. Yeah, they're doing Layla and him now, apparently. Uh, Jesus Christ! Yay! Yeah, it's gonna go far. Um, <laughs> good good news for Antonio Cesaro though. He made himself a star this evening between him standing up to Jack Swagger and lifting a Big Show like he was a ball of cotton, lifting him up head height and tossing him over the top rope. That's just amazing. As you were saying, that definitely the strongest pound for pound guy in the company right now. And it takes you by surprise because he doesn't look like someone would be that strong. I mean, yeah, he's got like really defined arms and all that, but you know, he's not someone who looks like John Cena where he's really big and puffy, like all that. Cesaro is sort of uh sort of lean, you know, he's a little more just trimmed. Uh so it's fantastic for him that he was able to get this spotlight on him that night and look forward to seeing where they decide to take him in the next few months, especially now 
that he is a Paul Heyman guy. Uh, and I don't think you have to worry about them doing another one of these next year because they destroyed the trophy. So mm. you're not going to be able to have one next year. I hope that's yeah, the case. That, after they hired like all that SWAT team security and all that to transfer that trophy, it got destroyed so easily by Jack Swagger. <laughs> Spent all the money on getting it done. They had this guy, this poor dude is sitting there sculpting it. He's taking hours and hours out of his time to do like the littlest details. And they're like, hey, look at that. Bang. It's fucking done. <laughs> they probably had to guard it so well because of how fucking flimsy it was. Maybe. <laughs> it was like, guys, don't fucking drop it. Like, it'll break really easy. Stiff wind comes by and Andre the Giant's head flies off and they're just like, oh, motherfucker, we can't. <laughs> they, they stick it back on before the pay-per-view and they accidentally put it on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> they got it, like, super glued together. <laughs> couple of bands. <laughs> why is his arm coming out his neck? What, what are you talking about? That's how Andre always looked. Yeah. Uh, you don't, you don't for Andre. If you don't remember that Andre looked like this, you should buy the network, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, what do you think? I really like this match, and I'm surprised no one's brought it up so far. And the th- the thing that really stuck out to me in this match, and besides the, the Cesaro uh, pickup at the Big Show, I thought uh, that the, the spot with uh, Kingston putting his feet on the stairs, I thought that they would do something like that by now, like something as simple as that. Every time during the Rumble, like, okay, he's going to get thrown over, and he's going to put his feet on the stairs to be safe. And they never did that until now, so I was like, oh, okay. Finally, so I thought that was cool, and you know, I actually really enjoyed this match. It was a lot better than what I thought it'd be, and I will agree with Peyton. It was an injustice how they eliminated Fandango. He did not deserve the 30 chops by Sheamus and a simple push. He deserved to be in the final three, okay? At hey, least. everyone said give him a push. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was a joke that I would have made. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on, so- Ted Mosby. Jeez. <laughs> You know what was really awkward about Fandango's elimination? He was on the opposite side, and you could tell that he was waiting for somebody to eliminate him. And then when he realized that like they weren't paying attention, he's like, oh, I'm just going to go to the other side of the ring and dance and do the same thing and wait I... for somebody to eliminate me. <laughs> That's just about like everyone's like, oh, he's just dancing. Look at Fandango. He's just dancing. And I'm just like, when is someone going to just push him off? Like, I knew he was going to get eliminated. But it was just kind of like, oh, man, when the fuck are they going to do it? So he was on that those ropes, and no one was like touching him for like twenty seconds. I was like, "What the fuck are they doing?" And I Dude. loved uh, Kofi's fake elimination too. Oh, I thought that was, that was fantastic. Oh, so you don't say it when I say it? Okay, that's cool. It's all good. That's yeah, a good thing you brought it up because I forgot about it for a minute. Mm. Uh, I don't know if he messed that up or what, but if he did mess it up, it came out looking cooler. I think. I don't know if he messed it up. It's just that I thought that they'd do some a spot with him that simple by now. It seems like it's something they do. You just you know, get thrown over to the top ropes each, and you know, I thought I just thought that they'd do something like that by now. And what the hell is like the next thing that he's going to do? Uh, he's going to jump on. I was going to jump onto the announcer's table, probably. We already did that, didn't he? He did. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Fuck. Um, and, then he, and then he pogoed back to the ring on the chair. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. The next um, thing he's going to do is land on a referee's shoulder and ride him back to the ring. <laughs> See, has he done like a handstand type thing yet? Yes, he has. Yeah, he oh, has. Oh, man. Um, hmm. He's going to have to, like, land on his head and just, like, break dance, spin on his head back to the ring. <laughs> He's going to do a spin a Rooney from, like, the <laughs> stage down the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm out of ideas for what he could do, and I'm sure that they're going to think of something. And I really hope that he just keeps pulling this off. And you know yeah. what the hell? If they do end up having this again next year, give him the fucking win. Come on. <laughs> After all this shit that he keeps doing to get out of the eliminations and stuff, give Kofi something other than an Intercontinental title. The one time he's finally scheduled to win, he'll fuck up his stun to lose. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be like the most simplest one. Like It'll be like, oh, just, you know, do the, the typical thing where somebody puts you over the top rope and you hang on. And uh, skin the cat. Yeah, and he'll be like, whoops. <laughs> 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 that would be awful. You know why he'll slip? Baby oil. Stuff's uh, dangerous. Oh, God. No wonder they needed to get rid of that. I, they went, did Biggie have any baby oil on tonight? I didn't, I didn't see. I hope so. You know, honestly, you talk about um, people that you think would be stronger than Cesaro. I think uh, Big E would definitely put a test to who has more suits between him and Cesaro. Big muscles don't mean big strength. I think that, but I think he could do it. 
I th- I think he could be able to pick up uh, the big show like that. I don't know if he'd be able to throw top row because he's not that tall, but I think he could do something along those lines. I think it'd be blacker. That's about it. Oh, well, then. Um, <laughs> what? Okay, Sean Walker. Jeez. <laughs> All right, that doesn't make much sense, but it's probably a good time to end this segment, right? <laughs> Especially after that, jeez. <laughs> Next part, Bray Wyatt versus John Cena.